Hey C3 family and anyone else that's joining us, just want to give you some updates here from the C3 church. But before I do that, I want to read to you from Isaiah chapter 60, because I honestly believe this is a word for us at this time with the pandemic all around us. It says this, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters are carried on the hip. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth on the seas will be brought to you. To you, the riches of the nations will come. And so we can continue to read in so many ways, we know this is a crisis, but it's a crisis of opportunity. And we believe we want to shine out as a church. And we believe that for such a time as this, these aren't cliches, these are the word of God that sets us free. We can make an impact and bring hope and life to our world. In regards to here at C3, as we shared recently, we will be following government guidelines. So we're not going to be having gatherings together in our facilities or in buildings that we might hire everything from here on in is going online so we're not cancelling anything we're just going to another context we're going online and we want you to connect with us online as much as you're able on facebook on youtube at the weekend let's be interacting let's be using zoom and such like for groups you'll be hearing information that's coming out uh, throughout the day particularly on um, email if we have got your email address make sure we can email you and we'll be sending you all the links and such like that we need to cover so everything is going online that's the most important thing for you to hear that includes youth and kids there'll be programs that are on there for them and we'll be seeking to up the ante in this and to make some probably from early next week as well as our Sunday services to have daily connection so that we can enjoy community online in that way too we're also setting up an emergency fund, which we're calling Love Your Neighbour. You'll be able to see how to give to that. We would ask that you'd be consistent in your giving, those that are call C3 their home, because basically what we're doing over these next few days, weeks, months, who knows how long, everything is going down two lines. One is care. We want to care for our community. We say it's part of our core value to be a Christ-centered community, but that we are in everything we do thinking community, community focused. So we want to care for those within our church community, but also in the wider community. Again, you'll see more in the email. How can we help people with food or emergency aid? And the giving that we'll be we're receiving in our emergency fund will go to care. And the other side is content. We want to get content out there because we haven't changed on this guys we're reaching and shaping a generation with the message and cause of christ so how can we get content out there to comfort people to instruct people to disciple people we know there's a lot of fear out there what words can we say from the scriptures that are the words of life and of eternal life for people so we'll be making sure everything's along those two lines care and content if you can sign up to get involved we'd love more volunteers in whatever way you can be involved just say yes when you get the email about it and we'll allocate areas if you can do it whether that means distributing food helping in the community or whether you can help with the creation of content just click yes wherever you can because the normal rosters for us in our services and such like that we have and any small groups that we'll be meeting in the building or in homes they're all cancelled we're not doing any of those in relation to the government recommendations we do believe this could be a time to thrive and not just to survive in all that we do so thank you for your prayers let's keep praying let's keep washing our hands 20 seconds of the lord's prayer we want to keep praying that we've got jeff lucas with us this weekend jeff will still be with us and we're again pausing on the series that we're we were on we're going to focus on this faith over fear 
peace over panic. That's what we want to focus on at this time. We believe people need to hear. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for passing this on. We're in this together and we're believing God that this could be our greatest hour. Not just, I don't mean hours as in C3, the Church of Jesus Christ, the hope of the world with this gospel that we've been entrusted with. God bless you. Bye-bye.